And the College Basketball Invitational presented by Buick. Game one of the best of three championship series. And tonight, Santa Clara at home wins at 81-73 over George Mason. And just a moment ago, Coach Bobby Cremens caught up with winning Santa Clara coach, Kerry Keating. Kerry, congratulations on your 25th uh, win of the season. Got a little interest in there at the end. Well, I think we got a little too comfortable after getting a few stops and a few shots went in. You know, we're back home. We're not, we weren't ready to come back home when we started doing this a couple weeks ago. You never really know. And, uh, but I'm glad we got the one, you know, game one of a series. I think the most important to get the first one. Now we got to take our act on the road. We certainly made it interesting at the end there a little bit, but glad we could hang on for the win. All right, you, you mentioned Wednesday night, you got to go at them again. Now, what do you take from this game? I know obviously you, you and your staff got to dissect this game, but what do you take going into Wednesday night from this game? I don't think there's that much different preparation. I mean, now we have a better feel for them. It's almost like a quick back-to-backer in, in the conference season where you may get an off-balance schedule. You play someone in a week later, kind of get the feel familiarity with them. I think now we got a little more familiarity with who their guys are, some of the personnel we've seen it in person. I think we'll actually be even more ready to play on Wednesday. This team's been great on the road in this tournament. They've been great on the road all year. Uh, we're up earlier tomorrow morning, excited to get out to D.C. and take it all in and play in the rack on Wednesday. Well, you won the, you won the first set, and you got one more to go to win the match, and congratulations, and look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Great. Thanks, Bobby. All right, Gary, thanks. And it will be Wednesday night at George Mason as we take a look at the final stats in this game. And three-point shooting, as you would expect from a great three-point shooting team, Santa Clara doubling up on their three-point shots and hitting 25-3 throws compared to 16 our final stats by Buick in the Santa Clara 25th win of the season that is the second most in school history Kenny Rice joined now by coach Crimmins and uh, coach Keating alluded to it they had a double figure lead but suddenly it was trimmed <laughs> down to five in those final seconds well you can see the sweat on his forehead Kenny and you hate to see that because as a coach one thing you preach to your team close it out and they had a nice 10 point lead and then the roof almost caved in and fortunately, the technical foul with the young man, he slapped the ball from the inbound to out of bounds. And that kind of helped, really helped Santa Clara, gave them the technical, gave them the free throws, and allowed them to regroup. It, it was getting really interesting. One more steal, and George Mason could have stole this one. It was a great, you know, down at the end, uh, George Mason caught fire, but it was too late. It was early on Evan Rockamore who hit his first five shots and was red hot from three point range. And there's Kevin Foster. We saw him with the assist and now he gets the assist. And once again, he just puts up the numbers. I'm really in intrigued with this young man. He, he, he has great range. He's a scorer, but what I love about him, he also passes the basketball. And I think, you know, one thing when Coach Keaton looks at the tape, he's gonna say, Kevin, when, when they blitz you, when they double-team you, you've got to give it up, find the open man. And I, I think we'll see him coming off of screens rather than ball screens being set for him. You wonder now, what does Paul Hewitt do with George Mason on their trip on Tuesday back to the D.C. area to get ready for game two, uh, now a must game for them on Wednesday night? Sherrod Wright, uh, you got to step up. You know, I, I watched him score 29 points against Houston. He's a big-time scorer. I, I love what the bench did tonight. I love what Holloway did. I, I love what Arledge did and Copes did, um, rebounding the basketball. I, I think George Mason is going to be a different team Wednesday night. I think um, they'll have that home court advantage. The crowd will be into it. And, again, I think Sherrod Wright, it's time for you to step up. It's, it's late in the season. This is it. It's, it's do or die. And only once in the history of the CBI. Has a team been able to sweep a series? So that's good news for George Mason fans. We'll see you on Wednesday night at 7 Eastern here on Access TV for game two of the best of three. For Coach Bobby Crimmins, I'm Kenny Rice. Final score, Santa Clara 81, George Mason 73 to go up 1-0 in the series.